Hello students. Um, in this tutorial, we'll be learning about query building. So first of, first of all, we all need to understand that what is query building. So query building is an important feature in uh, GIS where we do where we do go for various analysis. And these analysis can be of two types. One is spatial, which is based on geometry, and the second is non-spatial, which is based on attribute table. And this query building is done in the language, which is also known as SQL, that is structure query language. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll start with our exercise here. So this is the map. I'm, I've taken an attribute table, which is not a uh, final one. So uh, it doesn't matter because I have already circulated the uh, final version of uh, um, attribute uh, Excel sheet. So I'll be using this because it is for practice purpose only. So here, what I'll do, this is my map, the green cover map has been generated. So now what I'll do, I'll go to uh, Chhattisgarh layer, right click. Then I'll go to open attribute table. So here we have got this attribute table. You can see this uh, select feature using an expression, this icon. So click on this. So this icon, uh, this pop-up window has come which says select by expression or, or uh, feature. So here, from here we can do query. I'll be, uh, I'll be teaching you all two, three methods of query. So this is the first method. So selection by expression. So what I'll do here, I'll go to fields and values. <clears throat> now it is asking for which uh, field I want to do query. So let's go for uh, percent green area, percentage of green area. So I'll select this. Okay, and then percentage of green area which is greater than uh, let's say seventy five percent. So now this is the attribute uh, query which says that and once I have done select features so in my attribute table you can see that these two features got highlighted. Right? So this is my attribute based uh, query. <coughs> Another method which we, we all can uh, do is that Let's clear this one. <coughs> Close. I'll go to another method. Another method is of go to filter. Now you create virtual layer. So this is my virtual layer. So virtual layer is something which is not exactly we have got. It is just displaying on that moment. And once you shut down the um, G, uh, QGIS layer, then th this will disappear. So that's why we say that it is virtual because it is for a moment it is displaying in the... <coughs> um, so now we again you all can see that... We have got here virtual layer has been created and these, these are the categories which has come. So again, same thing we'll be learning here. So let's go for, <coughs> I'll select percentage of green area. Okay. I'll go for sample here. We can select sample. So these are the sample in green area. 
<clears throat> now if i want to see greater than 75 percent so again i'll write 75 and then i'll click on test so there were flaws written two rows <clears throat> okay So these are the uh, these these two percentage uh, is more than seventy five percent. So in my uh, query, it has come. Okay. <coughs> so see, you all can see these two areas are there. So now what I can do since this this is virtual layer, so I need to export it as a shape file. So I'll go to right click and then export and I'll save feature as file name. Green area percentage save and rest of the option I'll be keeping it as it is and then OK. So it has been created green area percentage. So now, if I check out this, so you all can see that these two layers are there. I need to do something. No brush apply okay so now for plus map is visible here so my next step is that i want to show these two layers okay differently So I'll go to Quaggle Editing and then I'll go to Symbology Properties Symbology here Okay Flash Black apply okay so these are now it is here i can copy and move also this area which will denote that these two districts are having green cover more than 75 percent so from here i can move feature i can select this and then i can Move this and here again I can select this and I can move this feature here. So this is how my map will generate. And once you're done with this exercise, then again you can go to <coughs> project. You can go to um, wait.
you can go to print layout this is my new print layout and then i can as we previously did i can bring, bring my map mm. i can change my page properties also here if i want to make it a4 size orientation if i want to make it portrait i can make portrait here also so rest of the option you are need to keep it uh, if you want to move this object you can move this you can slightly you can make it big also small also so depending upon what you all have learned in cartography how to uh, you have to give the final presentation here thank you students